The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hey, folks, I, I've been asked to do something from three different people here in the last half hour, so I'm probably going to do that instead of what I was usually going to do, but I have to cover a couple things. This is the live cattle market, February live cattle, and you remember we had this big ABCD pattern down at the bottom here, 1.618 expansion, and then that was back on the December the 7th. Here we are on the 26th of December and look what we've done. We've made a perfect A, B, C, D pattern right to the downside. If I could draw it in correctly, which is difficult because this thing is so sensitive when I'm working live. And there's where we are right here. And we went right down to it. Uh, right now it's uh, moving up uh, quite a bit. But that's one of the things that we want to watch. This is a, a bearish cattle report. And uh, we, we couldn't do anything. I mean, this was the report. And then this was today's action, slightly lower. I thought we might get down to this level, but we didn't. We only got to the 382, and that, that's a really bullish sign when you've got bad news and good action. That, that's a very, very positive thing on tape reading just about anything. If you've ever read any of Jesse Livermore's work, Reminiscences of a Stock Operator, uh, that was a big thing that he'd done. You know, the, the tape was saying 100, but I could see 110. Well, <laughs> that's what happens to some of these things that you're looking at right now. Okay, now the question has been asked to me about these cycles that I've been talking about since Hector was a little pup. We'll get this up here right now here. And it'll only take me a second to go through them. These are the big ones right here. I think this was the one. This is the one we were talking about short term. Yes, this is the one. You see, here's where we were in October, okay? October the 27th, December 1st. There's December 13th. And here we are coming into January. You see, it's about all the way to mid-January. After about the, the 15th of January, folks, these lines turn red for a long time now the, the remember these do not say how high it's going to go okay all it says that there's going to be a turn date on that that should be down now if this thing is coming down at that point that means it's probably going to be reversing and going up these are tr uh, what do you call timing signals that sometimes can reverse when they're lining up perfectly like we are now from that high in October down to the 27th, then up here into the 13th, this should have been, you know, backed off. And what did it do? It went straight up. And so, and it's probably going to go at least through January 8th through January 15th, unless something dramatic changes. And sometimes that happens too. So we want to be watching that date. The second cycle that was involved with this all right, was this one right here. And as you can see, this is going back to July 23. This was an older one. You see, we didn't get through. But look at what you can see here. Th what the problem is, this is where we were here in October. You see how October and then the, the, the one in November was higher than lower? You see how that difference? That's because this is the combination of all 10 things that we're looking at. What we're looking at on the other one, you're only looking at the four outer excuse me, the five outer uh, cycles, the five hour planets. That's why it's easier to gauge, okay? But these timing dates are, you know, they're pretty good. They're not 100%, but that's why we use patterns. That's why we have AB equals CD. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention because those are the things that we're going to be watching as we, as we go through here. Now, the other thing that was important in that s sequence of events, if you remember, I brought to your attention some of the things. Where's that Elliott Wave stuff? It's up here. Here's where we are. Okay, I want to get one of these in here. This is the one. This is where he. This is going back to 19 into 1923, but he's basically uh, he was saying that the high should be somewhere around this level here. Remember, this was from 1990. Uh, excuse me, 20. Um, 2021 November of 21 he was predicting a high up into this area here it didn't get anywhere near that high it got to 36,000 but now we're in that zone see that that zone we're in that zone we've hit uh, 
30 well in the futures we've hit 38,530 but that doesn't count it's a, this is the Dow Jones actual index so that hasn't quite hit that it's hit this number 37,775 it's trading there right now so that is still a possibility now that's a 1.618 log expansion whether that means anything or not I have to wait and see but we want to pay close attention to it for sure all I'm doing, folks, is looking for a low-risk entry on a, uh, you know, on the um, stock index, stock indices. When I get it, I look at it, and that's basically, you know, what I'm waiting for. The second question that someone asked was about the gold uh, scenario. John Chevney from the Tiger Den sent this out. This is showing the last uh, seven years uh, in the stock market. Wow, Larry. The gold market, <laughs> you can see here, it has a very bullish bias during December. That's basically what you're looking at. Only one year in here, even that was bullish. Uh, this one was just very, very bullish right here. You see the bullishness here, and then here was a bullishness here. And then in 23, we've had a pretty good bullishness. And that's why, you know, we've been looking for another re-entry into the gold market because that, that's just a cycle that's repeating over and over again. Why these cycles work, I don't know. Why do they shift and sometimes go back and forth? I don't know that either. So all I have to do is just to look at the patterns that I'm trying to find. And uh, basically, that's what we're trying to do. Perfect example of that was something that I brought out in the video that I sent out early this morning. Yeah, was it last night? Last, excuse me, it was last night. Here's where we were. In the, this is what my, my, whole, what my game plan was. In the, uh, and I pointed this out. We have a very bullish bias, folks. We we bought this 382 low right there. We did buy that one. We got out of that one right about there. We rebought it right here. Okay, we sold it there. And I said, what we're looking for, I said, the real easy trade for today would be if the market would come down from your low here and make a beautiful ABCD pattern. ABCD. We haven't had one since that bottom was made on the 13th. There's not been an ABCD pattern in that whole run. And there it was right there. I said, be a buyer here at 72.60. Uh, Put your stop right below that and you know, look to the trading gods to get you out of it. There's no ABCDs in here. That are, oh, there is one right here. Son of a gun. <laughs> I'm uh, Stand corrected, Larry. There it is right there. There it is. Uh, you can see the perfect ABCD right here at 72.41. We went up here, and look what it did. Last night it came right down to a little below the 61% retracement, and uh, we, we stayed there. This is an hourly chart, folks. Look at this. This stayed here one, two, three, four hours at this zone right here, and then look what happens You know when it takes off. It's already exceeded this swing right here. There's your AB leg here. And there's your CD leg here. It's already going higher. That tells us we're going to go at least up into this uh, 1.618 expansion. I would think that would be the easiest place to, to take a look at it. So that's what we're looking at. we got Norm Winsky coming up, folks, uh, at the break. So stay with us. we got another segment coming, 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educate investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Call, call, call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, I wanted to point out to you, I posted the uh, chart here of the E-mini S&P because in the video that I sent out uh, on Sunday night, it said it looked like it had a potential for a bearish bias because you had a nice 135 pattern here. Now, this was Sunday night, and you notice when we took this out, that negated that 135 pattern, so there's no way that you want to be looking to be bearish because you've already come down. You should have started to break and make a, a major ABCD down in this area, but it didn't. The market's acting very normally, folks, even with the, the holidays. Look at the swings, how equal they are. There's your first swing down, absolutely perfectly equal. There's your second wing down here. This was on Friday, perfectly equal. If you measure the swings, this one was 618. I believe this one was uh, just about 50%. Uh, well, almost exactly 6182. Well, it misses it by, well, this thing's too sensitive. It misses it by about five points. But you know, that's just showing you that this, the symmetry is still there. So that means we're going to make a new high up in this area. Just looking at today's action here, even as quiet as it is, there's, there's your opening range here. This was your low from last night. So all you'd have to do is just measure to see what the first correction was. And you'll see it comes down. Uh, just about 50 percent, a little below the 382. But look how many times it hits the 382 level and then continues to go higher. And then you're looking at an ABCD here taking this out. So there's no reason to think the highs come in yet, at least from not a risk parameter. I mean, I don't know if it's going to ever come in, but from a short term parameter, that's what you're really looking at. So I'm, that's what I'm focusing on because I know when it comes, if it does, and maybe it won't. Because it doesn't make any difference. We'll be trading a lot of other things along the way. But if you just look at this, what it's done here on a long-term weekly basis, and we might do this, folks. This is the, this is the cash. Excuse me. This is the March S and P index. So it's not this data is there, but it's not as good as if you're looking at the the nearby. This is the nearby now. But remember, you really need to look at the S and P cash spy because that'll give you a fair value now here's what we there's where we were in october and now we started to go up just making this abcd pattern here and we could make this very easily the tight slightest bit you're talking about it only being uh, what another 120 bucks away 
120 handles away, you know, the way these markets are going, you make 80 handles one day, 80 handles the next, you could easily get up here. But you got to do it before this time in here. See, this is where this is where the big daddy rabbit's going to be saying, okay, boys, we're in the ninth inning and we're going to see what happens. So let's pay really close attention to it. And maybe it means nothing. But all I can say is I haven't seen this many cycles coming together since, uh, well, March of 2005, so we're going to fuck 2009. Let's keep it, keep a look on that. I've got to change this out, or I will get it all messed up again. I don't want to mess that up. And then the next one I wanted to talk about here was the Treasury bonds. This one is just standing here. Hasn't gone down yet, but it hasn't gone up yet anyway. This is what you'd be looking for. We sold this at 24.03. That's a where it's trading right now here you got some slightly over the last three days slightly lower tops nothing to really write home about the ranges are very small this would be the first profit objective on that that's at your 382 level right here okay so that's that's something that you want to pay uh, close attention to as you're looking at these treasury bonds however on the long-term basis folks the long-term basis <laughs> If these things ever close above with this 126 level, they could go a long way because this is a this is we're in a 10th week rally in a bear market. Anybody that that thinks that's a bull market, I wanna I wanna shake their hand. You can see the ABCD pattern at the bottom here at 107. Okay, 107.03 was the actual bottom. Now we're in the this is the 10th week. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're in the 10th week now of the rally. Now, maybe she goes up here and uh, Camelot comes back. I, and that's possible because if we get above 126, that tells you that there's something here that the old cowboy missed. And believe me, I do miss some things. And when I do, I'm certainly going to tell you because if that happens, that's going to be a, a big surprise. I have not seen this much lethargy in the market in other words, people disregarding anything that is related to anything bearish as opposed to even thinking about it. I mean, it's they're just uh, – you watch Bloomberg and you watch CNBC. They do not have anyone on there that is saying, look, be careful. This could be a major top for a very long time. I've not seen one person uh, come on yet. I, there might be one, but I haven't seen them yet. If, if they have, please let me know. But, I mean, I'm – well, just let me know because I'll have to, you know, see what's going on. I had this same problem when it was upside down back on uh, March of 2009. Everybody thought I was crazy. They were right, but I didn't tell them why. Anyway, that's uh, that's what we're going to be. All you got to do is trade, get back to your basics, trade your ABCD patterns, and you're going to be, you're not, you're not going to get any trouble in these markets. I mean, sure, you might. You might gonna have some losses here and there, but you know it's not gonna let you down, folks, because it goes back for as long as I can look at recorded history. It all starts with A, B equals C, D, and some of these little patterns that we use. They're there over and over again. Those of you who've been following me for years already know that, or you wouldn't still be following me, you know. So we know that they're there. All we gotta do is try to pick them out, and that's what we're. That's what my job is: try to pick them out. And here's one that we're waiting for. That's getting very, very close. And that is this natural gas, okay? Okay, here's natural gas over the last several several days. Now, we're getting close. Now, remember, we were looking at shorting up here the other day right on the line. Now, while we were online, there's where our number was up there at 258. Excuse me, 250. Sorry about that, boys and girls. It was 248. Sorry, 248. The high was uh, 250, so it was against you, 20 bucks. Two dollars, and then boom, down she comes. All right, now there's where we are today. You go from your low over here to your high, lines up right on the 786, right there, and then you go over to your low on the left, and that lines up almost exactly on 618. Is at 237. This one's at 235. That tells you that's a really good spot, has a pretty strong rally. You can see it has a very strong rally, and that rally takes you right up to the 61% retracement. There it is, almost to the exact tick, and it backs off to the 61% retracement, and now it's backing and filling. When you buy down in this area here, folks, 
and you have that much of a that much of a run, that would be your first profit objective, of course, because that's almost that's six hundred dollars. But if you bought it there, just keep your stop at break even, which is down here. You can certainly do that, but I don't like to give that kind of money up. I would rather sell it and then buy it back on this little pullback. Sometimes you don't get it, like what happened in October in stocks, but that's what you're paying attention to. So this is something for tomorrow. Right now it's a completed pattern, and we're waiting to see what's going on. There's also a possibility because of this gap. This is, could be something very, very negative. Remember, we don't even have LPG gas uh, for your barbecue pits in Tucson. Stay tuned for The Wizard. Mr. Norm Winsky will be up in just a second from Naples, Florida. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I believe we have Mr. Norm Winsky in the house right now. Norman, how are you? Great, Larry, and you? I am terrific. Shana Tova to you, my friend. And tell us what we're looking at now, buddy. We'd Happy like to holidays. hear what's going you, on. Looks like you got a different background. Are you in Philly? 
Uh, no, that's one of my properties that I have all over the world. That happens to be right off the wharf there in San Francisco. I bought that property about 40 years ago for 50000 and now it's worth $12 million. I come up here to make sure I can collect my rent every month from all these guys. That is a thing called you can change the background to anything you want. <laughs> and uh, on okay. Skype, you can, well, congratulations you about on your – Congratulations on your San Francisco real estate investment oh, yeah, there, Larry. Yeah, yeah sure. And I, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge for you, too, Norm. Okay, so well, go I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that, maybe I can put that in my retirement account, you know? Uh, that'd be a good place for it. Keep it deeply in there, okay? Make sure you sell that one last. Okay, anyway, shall we move on? Shall we move ahead? That would, that would be, be a very good idea to move on. So please okay, continue. Okay, so anyway, I was on, last on your show, Larry. On Monday, December 11, and I made the uh, following forecast. I, we had a new moon the night of the 12th. Anytime we have a new moon, I like to look at financials, grains, personal smell. I'm probably going to, over the past year or so, I've noticed that the oil also turns on the moon, so I'm probably going to be adding that, so we'll include that too. I hope that's okay. And then uh, the night of the 12th, we also had Mercury and Capricorn turning retrograde, over the past uh, 15, 20 years or more, that's been a really high, like a 90 percenter, you know. Uh, we'll see if that was uh, 90 percent in, uh, in December. Uh, anyway, that's uh, anytime you have mercury, you got the grains, corn, soybeans, wheat. And because it was in Capricorn, we'll be looking at coffee, too. And then the afternoon of the 15th, we had Jupiter aligned with Saturn. Uh, Jupiter's in Taurus and Saturn's in Pisces. It's a surf and turf, you know. And we have, so we'll be looking at cattle, coffee, cotton, and oil. And then the night of the 15th, I think that was a Friday. Yes, that's a Friday weekend deal. Mars zero north latitude. So we'll be looking at corn and gold. So here we go. We got three points for corn, two on the for the moon because of Mercury and the moon. And you see there that it kind of made a little bit of a top there off of that high there, and then we went down. And then a little pop up here for the Mercury. Yep, that's uh, the Mercury at zero latitude. I'm sorry, I take that back. This is based on the uh, 15th. Uh, I'm not sure why. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's right. Mars zero north latitude. Sorry about that. Uh, right there, so that was a little bit of a high there, and then you had a dip. Uh, beans, uh, not so good. We were off a day or so on the high there for the beans, so I had to count the mercury and the moon as the misses there for the soybeans. And here's mercury and the moon for wheat, and that worked out uh, for a short-term top there. Had a chance to make 25 cents, 20 cents. A thousand bucks. Here's cattle. Cattle went up here and just ahead of that top, little top there had a chance to make a little bit of money. And here's cotton. Not so good. It continued a little bit lower. So that's a miss. Coffee. Not so good. We had a miss there and then it just went sideways there. So that was a, a nothing. And oh, actually a minus one. Silver was spectacular. Right on the moon, Larry. Look at that low there. The low of the month. That brings back memories of your friend uh, Mary. What was her name? The Mary, Mary Rivers. There you go. Mary Rivers. There you go. Right on the bottom there of the silver. Uh, right on the moon. Here's gold. That's some, not quite as spectacular, but similar. Made a low there. And then we also had this point, a little pullback low here for the gold on Mars Zero Latitude. Then here's the S&P. We struck out on the... That's the I had four potential points, three were misses, and one was a pass, a sideways action. So that's uh, that's not that's not my usual deal, but that's what happened. And then T bonds were just going sideways. In December, kind of a, a difficult trading environment. I know what you think, Larry, but that's how I see it. And then the dollar was kind of, just kind of going sideways. Some of the currencies were pretty good, though. The Aussie dollar pulled back right into the moon. That was the, uh, the, uh, the new moon. Here's the British pound went sideways. Here's the Canadian dollar, it was similar to the Aussie. Pulled, had a little bit of a pull back there right into the moon. And here's the euro, that was a miss. So adding up all the arrows, green arrows, red arrows, 
had 11 winners, 8 misses, added 19 for 57.89%. Not one of my better periods, of course. So usually I'm doing the 70s and 80s, you know. Okay. So there we go. We got uh, coming up here tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Oh, tonight. Tonight's the night, Larry. We have a full moon in the sign of cancer. That's the moon rules cancer. So it's, it'll be in its own sign. And anytime we have that, we'll be looking at financials, grains, precious metals. And I'm going to say oil. And you might have noticed that oil is up pretty big today. Last time I looked up about two and a half bucks. So pretty big day for the oil. So we might be look, looking at some kind of short-term top. They're on the oil by tomorrow morning. Then the uh, coming up on the weekend here, New Year's weekend, we have Jupiter lining up in Taurus, line, going direct. We have Jupiter, you know, we have retrograde, you have direct. It has to do with the relative motion of the Earth to the other planets, a shift in their relationship, Jupiter in Taurus, and that's Taurus is cattle and cotton. And then we have Mercury, that's the grains, corn, soybeans, wheat. And we have, so we have two, what we call station points, director retrograde points, right over the same weekend. That's pretty, could be pretty powerful for uh, when we reopen on Tuesday uh, next year, January 2nd. So here we go. Uh, here's my bio. If you don't know me, I've been doing this a long time, almost as long as Larry. And I, right out of college, I made... I stumbled on astrology while I was in college, started trading based on the astrology, made enough money to back in the early 70s there, to ended up buying a membership on the Chicago Board Options Exchange and, and landed there right out of school in 1975 and became a market maker and a member of market maker there on the CBOE and did that for 12 years, also traded on the Chicago Board of Trade for a little while. And there we go. So I got a little bit of experience. Yeah. And I've studied no, no. all this stuff here. What's that I again? Have a, I have a question. How much did you pay for your exchange seat back then? Uh, that, the 25000 25, 20, So you didn't lose much money on that one, did you? <laughs> if you got a minute, I'll tell you the story of how that happened. Uh, we have 59 seconds. Take your time because we got break time. So please go ahead and continue with the uh, – right, this well, is holiday. Anyway, I, I, was, uh, I, I, made a, I made money in the stock market while I was in college there. And uh, I had a friend – who uh, I didn't know what I was going to do when I got out of school. I was an econ major, and he kept saying, son, you might want to think about becoming a stockbroker. And I thought, well, okay, I don't know what else I'm going to do. So I started taking finance classes in my senior year. I got, I, I, oh, and I've been tra I started trading options. Okay, got to take a break now. Get, we got to pay some bills. That's, that's commercial. We'll tell that yeah, that's, commercial. that's what economics is about, paying bills. We'll be right back, okay. folks. 877 927 you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back with Norm Winsky of Astro Trends, and he's telling us a story about how he got involved in the old business of buying and selling. Go ahead, Norm. Okay, so uh, I st you've heard the story how I stumbled on the Bradley book. Aaron, I was going to school at Indiana State in Terre Haute. Stumbled yep. on the Bradley book, did my re did uh, saw that I was more interested rather than the Bradley index. I was more interested in what was in the middle of the book where he talks about the 41-month business cycle with Jupiter, it correlated to Jupiter and Uranus, and you showed the stock market going up and down, being an econ major, and growing up in, I can't, as you might know, Larry, I grew up in a scrap metal family. My father mm -hmm. passed away when I was 13, but I grew up hearing Dad telling all about the copper market and the ups and downs of the copper market. So I was familiar with the 41-month business cycle, and I was also familiar with copper mining companies. And so I went and researched copper mining companies, and I decided – when the copper mine, uh, mining companies were in the in the uh, gutter, in the <laughs> in the in, in trash, uh, I would buy a copper mine company. That's how I made my big first big hit there in the stock market. And then I took that, and then I, I made friends with the local stockbrokers. And one guy was my neighbor, and kept telling me that maybe I should think about becoming a stockbroker. So I, being a, I was an econ major, I signed up for some finance classes thinking maybe I was going to be a stockbroker. And so I get to my senior year for the finance classes. I got the uh, same prof for two classes, small school. And uh, one was investments. One was financial intermediation. First day of the class of fall of 74, he tells me, tells us that to get a good grade in the class, we need to write a senior paper. I went up to him and said, look, prof, I got you for two, three hour classes. That's six hours. I've been trading options on the CBOE. How about I write a two-fold paper? One will be on uh, options as a vested vehicle, and the other as a CBOE as a financial intermediary. And he said, okay. And then I drove the 200 miles to Chicago, got a tour. The nice lady took me around. I actually saw the original first trading floor, the CBOE, about October of 74. And then she took me up to the, the floor they were building on the seven and a half floor. Uh, did you ever visit the 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 Cibo, uh, Larry, oh, when you were in Chicago? E e every Friday, little 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 juniors uh, fish sandwiches every day, every Friday. Never missed the three years I was there. What's that? Every which? Every Friday they had a they had the fish every place. Every Friday. Oh, I'm sorry, you every and I Friday. didn't cross. So you and I you didn't cross paths there, you know? Right? Well, I was in the '80s. Remember, I was uh, I was there from '82 to '85. So. I was, there. Was, I was there. Then. Yep, yep, oh, yep. I was there then. Yep. I didn't know you then. No, didn't know you then. You didn't happen. You didn't happen to see the three, the mini mining posts, did you? That's where I was. No. The one yeah. thing I do ask you is, uh, did you go to the Merrill Lynch office at Seventh and Wabash? Is that where you did your trading? Because that was about the only place in town you could do stock no, trading. No, I trading back. on the floor. No, when you I when you first did your no, when you did your first copper trade. Oh no, I traded through. Uh, 
I, oh, the the Anaconda. I did that uh, through uh, E. I. Dupont on Ohio Street, Larry. Ah, that's right. That was the other one. That's right. There was Merrill Lynch on Wabash, and then on I think it was what Sixth and uh, Sixth and, and Ohio was uh, Dupont, wasn't it? And then a bunch of those guys uh, went and did a spinoff, and they went to Hillier Lions. Yeah, that that but, was a long. Remember the Hillier me, Lions so. office there in Toronto, Larry? No, no, I don't remember that. No. That, okay, uh, that was late after your time. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, sure. so uh, I get uh, the tour guy takes me around, and we get up to the new floor there on the floor you probably visited there in the eighties, in the early eighties, and uh, she said, and they were going to open it in a couple of months, and mm -hmm. and and so. I'm there thinking I want to write. I have to write a college paper, but I also, in the back of my head, thought maybe this was a career opportunity. And I so I asked the lady. I said, "How does one become a member here? You had to be, you know, become a member to trade there." And she said, "Oh, you should go talk to the chairman of the membership committee." I said, "Who's that?" She said. That's Eddie O'Connor, Larry. You remember that name? Oh, Eddie O'Connor, great. You bet. I remember Eddie O'Connor. Yeah. Eddie O'Connor is greatly yeah. underestimated, underrated as he's the father of the whole enchilada. He trumped up the whole CBOE, you know, when he was oh, a vice yeah. chairman at the border trade there. Yeah. And so I did. I didn't know much about Eddie at the time, but she sent me to go see Eddie. And Eddie was very nice to me. You know, he, uh, Eddie and Billy, his brother, started as poor kids there on, as runners on the board of trade. And by the time I'm talking to Eddie, he's a multimillionaire, you know, right? So anyway, Eddie was very nice to me and explained how you become a member. And then he says, son, do you have any money? I said, well, I have a small inheritance. He says, well, you might want to put your name on this list I have over here from the exchange. They're going to be selling 150 memberships for $25,000. And right now they're in the trading in the open market for forty-five thousand dollars. I heard a twenty thousand dollar profit kaching in my head. I said, "Where do I sign?" <laughs> twenty thousand dollars back in the seventies. Well, buy your Mercedes Benz, Larry. I didn't want a nice one of Mercedes. One, yes. but, huh? That a was nice a nice Mercedes. chunk of change. I thought, well, if nothing yes, else, was, I'll yeah. sell the thing when I can and, and, and make make a profit. You know. So anyway, that put me on the so oh and so I go to sign the paper, and I'm number 160 out of 150, almost Fibonacci, yeah, 161, and uh, so I'm on the waiting list. So a few weeks later, the exchange calls and says, "We've got some cancellations. We've had some cancellations. Are you still inter interested in buying the membership?" I said, "Yes." Where do I send my check? And that was right around the end of '74, early '75, and I wanted to finish my last semester of school, so in the and uh, when school was done there in May of 75, I moved to Chicago and became a member and market maker on the CBOE. All right. That's like that's like being at Sutter's Mill in 1849 in the gold rush days. You hit it right on the bottom. Norm, good for you, my oh, friend. That was And by the way, I went for my membership exam the first the, the weekend of the 9th that was the 6th, the weekend of the 6th of December of 1974. You know what the significance of that was, Larry? Man, that was the bottom Monday, number one. Monday the you ninth was right. E low, five seventy right. on the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones five seventy. Made and a double told, bottom, a little higher. I yet, told some of my right, friends man. back in back in Terre Haute there at uh, at my favorite bar, Cunningham's. You ever go to Cunningham's there on Crawford? I played played basketball with the Cunningham boys for six years. I sure did. Yeah, I, I know about the well. Cunningham boys, but I used to go to the yeah. bar there. Saw some of my friends. I told. What are you going to do when you get out of school, Norm? Oh, I'm thinking of getting into the stock market. You can imagine the look on their face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they thought yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. Huh? You had a better chance of bailing hay, that's for sure. Now, these are good stories, right. Norm. I'm glad we brought this up because it brings back a lot of memories. I actually had goosebumps thinking about the Cunningham's uh, bar and stuff because they had behind the bar there, they had that little basketball court. Well, it was a nice basketball court where the kids used to play. We played there all the time. Yeah, there was a lot of memories. Holy cow. Okay. Hey, listen, I want to wish you a happy holidays now because we've only got a couple seconds here, but uh, we'll have you on again soon and be safe and have a wonderful new year, okay? All right, let's get my contact up there. You can email me. You can call me, 239-594-3939. You can email me at nwinski at yahoo.com or Skype for the use the same address, n-w-i-n-s-k-i at yahoo.com to reach me by email or Skype. Okay. Well, thank you. Everybody very much. have a happy, healthy, prosperous new year and looking forward to helping you. I'll be happy to help you. Call me up. I'll give you a free class, talks about some of these terms, concepts, and so forth. Okay. Thank you, 
Norm, for joining us, my friend. Thank you very much. Happy you New bet. Year. We'll see you on the new moon. Some of the folks. What's that? Okay, we'll see you on a new moon. Yes, sir. Thanks a lot. Okay, all right. We'll be right back, folks. Norm Winsky, Astro Trends. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I thought I'd let you know on my bucket list, you know, I've always wanted to do something and... Uh, there's a chance that I'm going to be doing a seminar, live trading seminar in Las Vegas in March, and it's going to be for two full days. I'm going to have uh, three guest speakers. The total number of years of these speakers, plus myself, is 200 years of trading experience. They'll be doing some spots in between, but it's going to be full-time trading for eight hours a day, two days. I'm going to cover all food and beverages and everything, and I haven't decided yet, but if you have an interest, you know, let me know. Uh, it will come with a 100% money-back guarantee that if we don't make money, you don't have to pay or you get your money back. Also, it's going to be called uh, Making Money with Your Honey because if you want to come, you can bring your spouse for free. And uh, so we'll have some fun. Not sure yet, but uh, it's about 90%. Anyway, let's keep that in mind. Also, folks, we've got the holiday season finishing up here. 
Uh, as it, you can see from the news and the items, there's a lot of people out there that uh, are doing some suffering. Hopefully we can get through this without anybody going totally wacko with a Uzi or anything like that. But be really careful on the holidays, folks, because uh, there's some uh, people out there, uh, especially if you're living in here in Arizona, folks, you should see what they've done to Tucson. My goodness. You know, it's just really, uh, it's just really amazing what, uh, you know, what's happening. And it's actually very, very scary. None of these people are from Mexico, folks. They're from Ethiopia, Sudan, uh, Congo, uh, Russia, China. I mean, it just, it's just amazing. And they just come, 15,000 came across the border. 3,000 came across the border in, in Tucson at Nogales, folks. I mean, this is getting, we, we, you know, this is just overloading the schools and the hospitals and everything. So I hope to do something soon, but I'm off my soapbox now. I'm not going to talk about it anymore, but tomorrow we'll have another guest. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Mm-hmm.